So today I'm going to show you step by step how you can make an AI agent that will send out personalized emails for every single lead that you may have. It will book appointments on autopilot for you because it's all personalized, it's all automated. So let's just get right in. As you can see here on the screen, um, we have a workflow of four different steps and they're super easy to set up. It will take like five to 10 minutes. Um, probably this video isn't even longer than that too. So what you're going to need is first of all, a, uh, a lead list. Obviously, uh, I didn't get her a lead list for this video. If you need uh, a tutorial on how you get a lead list with AI as well, you can uh, go to my channel. I'll probably put it here on the right top corner. Then you can watch the video on how to get leads through AI, also on autopilot. Um, so I, I just put myself here, uh, for example. Now you need an account on operouter.ai um, because here's where we're actually going to integrate DeepSeek with the workflow. Uh, DeepSeek, the new AI, I'm not going to go over it uh, um, again. And then f uh, furthermore, a prompt. And I will put this prompt in the description you, so you can just use it, um, see it as free value, okay? So we're actually going to uh, go to N8M because you want to make an account on N8M. So it's like this. You're going to press the top button um, and just make sure to get started. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in, okay? Next thing that you want to do is open your workspace and then go to create workflow. Okay. So the first step that you actually want to put in this workflow is schedule trigger because this is going to um, here. You can basically set up when you want this workflow to trigger and we can select an interval uh, days between the triggers. What, what hour, right? So you can do anything. I would suggest like 9 a.m. or something. Uh, every single day because then you just make sure that you send out these messages every single day at 9 a.m. You can go back to canvas at the left top. Always make sure to save it after you've made a step. Okay. Next thing that you want to do is add a Google Sheets because here we're going to make sure that the Google Sheets is connected to the workflow so that the AI can read the information and make it personalized. Okay. So once you've clicked on the plus, Put in Google Sheets, you want to have get rows and sheet because you just need him to read it, need it to read it. Okay. Now here you need to put in your Google Sheet. So what you want to do is first make a new credential. So create new credential. You want to sign in with Google. Very easy. Just um, follow that process. Uh, and then you will be able to see something like this. Then just do resource sheet within a document operation, get rows, and then from the document and then choose your lead list. Okay. So then you want to uh, put the sheet, but most of the time you just have one and there you go. That's already it. Now we, I'm recording for three minutes and 10 seconds and, um, we're already halfway through. So it's, it's really easy and it's, it's going to save you so much time. It's, it's amazing. Okay. Go back to canvas, make sure to save it. And once you press again, you want to make sure to test the step because we want to get credentials. So as you can see here, it's now, um, it's now working. It's magic. And as you can see here, it read the data correctly. Now go back to canvas. Next thing that you want to do is actually set up the AI. So what you want to do here, you click on the plus and put in AI agent. Okay. So here, what you want to do is the following. Here you want to put in the prompt that you're going to tell the AI what to do. So here, what you want to do, uh, agent, tools agent, that's fine. Source for prompt, the user message, you want to press that and click define below, okay? Then you want to go to the document that I put down below and copy this one, this whole prompt. And you want to paste it under text, okay? Make sure it's an expression. And here you see everything like that. If you don't, if you have a different name and it, it, this, this part is red, then what you want to do is just delete this part or the one that's red. You want to go to uh, the left side, drag this, put it under first name and there you go. So this may happen when your columns. So as you can see here, if it has a different name, so I put it, I called it here, first name, email and website, but maybe you just have it like, like name and then it will show up differently. So if that happens, make sure to delete the red one, drag 
the, the right one from your own Google Sheet and drag it onto here. And this is why it's important to test the step at the Google Sheets because then it will already gather this data, okay? So then you want to go back to Canvas because we're not completely done yet. And this is the hardest part, but it's still very easy. So what you want to do is actually connect DeepSeek to this AI agent. So you want to, under chat model, click the plus and you want to find open AI. And I know this might sound strange because I'm using OpenAI here and not DeepSeek, but l l hear me out. So it actually says OpenAI, but we're still going to use DeepSeek. So this is where you need Open Router AI. Just go to this site, make an account, and follow the steps like I will. So you want to go back to NADN and you want to press on OpenAI account 2. And you want to make a new credential, okay? And it's going to ask you for an API key and a base URL. So you want to go back to Open Router. You go to the right top and press keys. Here, you're going to make an API key. Create key, just call it a N8N outreach, for example, and press create. It will give you a code, which I'm not going to show you here because it's a, a private code, a private key, um, but you're going to copy that code and paste it into N8N. Okay, so I just got the code. So you go back to N8N and you put the API key right here. Okay, next thing that you want to do is the following. You want to go back to Open Router and copy this URL on the top. Then go back to ADN, NADN, sorry, and you want to change the base URL to this. And you need to change a couple things in the URL. So first, you want to uh, replace settings for API and keys for V1. And there you go, that's, that's basically it. It's really simple. Okay, so you press save. You can also call this a deep seek, by the way, because then you can differentiate them. Okay, very good. And then you want to go back, go to deep seek, and here you want to go to model. And you want to press expression, because now we're going to actually select the deep seek model. So go back to open router and search for a model. So, for example, deep seek. I always use distal llama. For me, that works the best. And you want to copy this code, okay? So this one, you can either just select it like that or just press this button. You want to go back and you want to replace JetGPT 4.0 mini for that one. Okay. You want to go back to canvas, save, and there you go. And it's that easy. So now we've actually connected DeepSeek to the AI agent and we're using DeepSeek during this um, yeah, workflow, outreach workflow. So you want to double press AI agent and you want to actually give it a test. So now it's going to write a personalized email for the lead. So it's going to give, give it a sec. And there you go. Now, this is a, a message, but we can just do it again and it will generate a different message. And that's the most important part because the more information you can put into the Google Sheets about a person, the more you can give it the AI and therefore the more you can personalize it on an autopilot way, in an, auto, in an automated way, right? So. Just want to wait for a sec because I just want to show you that it's actually going to um, make a different message every single time. Okay, so there you go. It took a bit of time, but we have our up output right here and it's, uh, yeah, it's different. So like I said, the more, val of the more information you can put in your Google Sheet, the more information the AI can actually use to make the, make the email personalized, you know? So last step, we're already at the last step and this is, this is the easiest one of all. So you want to go, I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. So you want to go to the plus and then press in Gmail. And you want to obviously send a message. So here you want to first connect your Google account. So again, just create new credential, sign in with Google, and there you go. Then what you want to do is resource message, operation send, and then here is where the fun part begins. So you want to, the two, you want to map that to um, the row in Google Sheets. So under input, and this is why you need to test every step because then you can get the credentials for it, basically. I hope I'm not confusing you. You want to press here to Google Sheets and under email, you want to click and drag that into two, okay? Next, subject. Obviously, you want to use their name for the subject. So I always use something like quick message for first name or uh, important message to uh, for first name. So. You just put in a port of message four, you press space, drag first name over there, and there you go. Okay, it's that easy. Then 
you want to put in the message because obviously you have to give the workflow the message. So every time the AI agent will make a personalized message, it will basically spit it out and say, okay, this is my output. So every time the output is different. So you, the same as the name is different and the email is different, you, the output is of the email is also different. So here you want to put in, put go here on the top uh, and that's why you have to test it as well because then you can create an example. Go to AI agent and then output and put that right there. Okay, and now this is where the fun part begins because my email is right here and I'm going to test it. So to test step, Okay, and it's sent. And as you can see here, it's all automated, it's all personalized, and that way you make sure with this workflow, obviously make sure to save that it will send every single day to a specific people in a Google Sheet. It will make and create um, a personalized Gmail or email uh, a message with DeepSeek, the new AI models, and it will send through your Gmail. It's really easy, it's super cool, and like I said, it took 10 minutes to set up. So if you found this video valuable, make sure to drop a like, a comment, uh, or subscribe, or whatever you want to do. Um, if you have any other questions, please let it know in the comments uh, or suggestions for other videos, let me know as well. If you need to know how to scrape leads from the internet with AI as well, uh, make sure to watch the video which is in the description as well. And finally, I will put this prompt so you can just copy and paste mine in the description as well. Make sure to just change the name uh, and change your values here uh, from the names of the columns. And that's basically it. So I want to thank you for watching and I'll sp we'll speak very, very soon.